As you say, IFF do run these uh, different uh, project finance courses. Uh, there's the generic ones, of course, the five-day generic, the three-day generic. And then there are the three specialized courses in infrastructure, which is the one you're asking me about, as well as the ones in um, uh, power uh, and in oil and gas. Uh, not surprisingly, the infrastructure uh, project finance course very much focuses on uh, PPP uh, stroke PFI uh, type projects, uh, where we're building transport or social infrastructure, you know, toll roads, tunnels, roads, bridges, um, or uh, hospitals, schools, uh, prisons, uh, and things of this sort. The distinguishing feature of those sorts of projects is that they tend to be um, associated with government agencies. Uh, they involve concession agreements, most typically, and the cash flow characteristics tend to be a little different from other areas of project finance. Uh, the, the revenue stream, the one and only revenue stream of the project, uh, tends to be a cost plus uh, formula. Uh, there are exceptions to that rule. Airports and toll roads uh, have market risk, traffic volume risk, and so on. Um, but predominantly, they are a, a cost plus formula. And therefore, the uh, infrastructure projects tend to be heavily documentation oriented. Uh, the concession agreement is key. The EPC uh, construction contract is key. Getting the thing built, getting it to work. Uh, is the key risk. And so the infrastructure project finance uh, uh, course is very much uh, focused particularly on the concession and the construction phases um, you know, that very much are critical in driving the revenue stream. Well, a lot of governments, uh, their tax revenues and their public finances are in disarray following the credit crisis of some years ago and the flatlining of GDP in many countries, not only the developed countries of Western Europe, but also some emerging markets are slowing down. And governments, therefore, have a choice. Do we postpone infrastructure until such time as we can foot the bill? Uh, or do we ally ourselves to the private sector uh, to build that infrastructure and then mortgage the revenues of the next 30 years or so uh, to, to return the financing and the capital that has been associated with the development of that infrastructure. So governments around the world are having to embrace uh, the idea of having uh, the private sector, a partnership with the private sector, uh, to develop infrastructure if they are to have the infrastructure now as opposed to later. Well, of course, uh, as in all of the IFF uh, training courses, we uh, have a healthy dose of case studies uh, to show practical relevance. We're, although we um, uh, provide training, it is for practical people, uh, and I'm very keen that it not be overly theoretical. People have to go back to the desk and uh, get involved either in the financing of projects or the documentation of them or the evaluation of them, depending on yeah, well, obviously what their work function is. Uh, and so the case studies are a very important part of this course. A nice political question uh, for me to address. Uh, you are right, it is controversial, um, and it often depends on people's personal politics, of course. Um, uh, some PPP projects uh, make perfect sense, uh, others are more questionable. Um, I'm always uh, prepared to venture my own opinions. Um, which is uh, somewhere in the middle, some good, some bad. Um, but uh, yes, it, in the course we will look at the pros and cons of governments working with the private sector to develop so-called value for money uh, and to provide efficiency in the provision of their public services.